today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1790, the modern shoelace with an aglet is patented in England by Harvey Kennedy. In 1794, the United States government establishes a permanent navy. In 1814, at the Battle of Horseshoe Bend, future U.S. President Andrew Jackson and his 3,000 troops defeat the Creek Indians, slaughtering more than 800 warriors and imprisoning 500 women and children. In 1836, at what has become known as the Goliad Massacre, Santa Ana orders the Mexican army to kill about 400 Texas POWs. In 1841, the first U.S. steam fire engine is tested in New York City. In 1854, the United Kingdom declares war on Russia. In 1855, Canadian geologist Abraham Gessner patents kerosene. In 1860, M. L. Byrne patents the covered gimlet screw with a T-handle. Nowadays, we just call it the corkscrew. In 1866, Andrew Rankin patents the urinal and made that line a whole lot faster. Also in 1866, U.S. President Andrew Johnson vetoes the Civil Rights Bill. It later becomes the 14th Amendment. In 1886, Apache warrior Geronimo surrenders to the United States Army. In 1871, England and Scotland face each other in the first international rugby match ever. In 1884, a mob in Cincinnati, Ohio attacks members of a jury who had returned a verdict of manslaughter in a clear case of murder, and then they destroyed the courthouse. In 1890, a tornado strikes Louisville, Kentucky, killing 76 people and injuring 200. In 1910, a fire during a barn dance in Hungary kills 312 people. In 1915, American Mary Mallon better known as Typhoid Mary, was placed under a quarantine that lasted until her death in 1938. In 1931, Charlie Chaplin receives France's Distinguished Legion of Honor Award. Also in 1931, the MLB's John McGraw says night baseball will not catch on. I'm not sure when I last saw a daytime game. In 1933, Japan leaves the League of Nations, perhaps because they were planning something. In 1941, Adolf Hitler signs Directive 27, which approves the assault on Yugoslavia. In 1943, Blue Ribbon Town with Groucho Marx is first heard on CBS radio. In 1944, 1,000 Jews leave Drancy, France for the Auschwitz concentration camp. Also in 1944, 2,000 Jews are murdered in Kaunas, Lithuania. In 1944 as well, 40 Jewish policemen in the Riga-Latvia ghetto are shot by the Gestapo. In 1945, Ella Fitzgerald records, It's Only a Paper Moon. In 1948, just 11 days after she was released from prison, Billie Holiday plays in front of a sold-out crowd at Carnegie Hall. In 1951, Frank Sinatra records, I'm a fool to want you. In 1952, the iconic Sun Records in Memphis begins releasing records. Also in 1952, the movie Singin' in the Rain, starring Gene Kelly and Debbie Reynolds, premieres at Radio City Music Hall in New York City. In 1955, Steve McQueen makes his network TV debut in the Goodyear Playhouse episode, The Chivington Raid. In 1957, at the 29th Academy Awards, Around the World in 80 Days, Ingrid Bergman and Yul Brynner win. In 1958, Nikita Khrushchev becomes premier of the Soviet Union. Also in 1958, CBS Labs releases new records in something called stereo. In 1962, Archbishop Rummel ends race segregation in New Orleans Catholic schools. In 1963, filmmaker Quentin Tarantino was born today. In 1964, the Good Friday earthquake occurs today. It is the most powerful earthquake in U.S. history with a magnitude of 9.2, striking south-central Alaska, killing 125 people and inflicting massive damage to the city of Anchorage. Also in 1964, the great train robbers are sentenced to a total of 307 years behind bars. In 1968, Russian astronaut Yuri Gagarin passes away today. In 1970, singer Mariah Carey was born today. 
Also in 1970, Ringo Starr releases his first solo album. It's called Sentimental Journey. In 1972, Adolph Rupp retires after 42 years of coaching at the University of Kentucky. Also in 1972, Venera 8 is launched to explore Venus. In 1973, at the 45th Academy Awards, the Godfather, Marlon Brando, and Liza Minnelli win. Marlon Brando turns down the Oscar for Best Actor to protest Hollywood's portrayal of Native Americans in film. In 1975, construction began on the Trans-Alaska Pipeline, which spans 800 miles. In 1976, the first 4.6 miles of the Washington, D.C. Metro subway system opens today. In 1977, 583 people died when two Boeing 747 aircraft collided on the runway in Tenerife, Spain. It is still the worst aircraft accident in history. In 1978, Bob Fosse's Dancing opens at the Broadhurst Theater in New York City for 1,774 performances. In 1978, the Ruttles mockumentary All You Need Is Cash is shown on British TV. In 1979, the U.S. Supreme Court rules 8 to 1 that the police can't randomly stop cars. In 1980, the Norwegian oil rig Alexander L. Kelland capsizes during high winds in the North Sea. Only 89 of the 212 people survived. Also in 1980, Mount St. Helen erupts after 123 years. In 1981, John Lennon's song, Watching the Wheels, is released posthumously. Also in 1981, Blizzard of Oz, the debut solo album by English rock musician Ozzy Osbourne, is released in the United States. In 1982, Best Little Whorehouse closes at the 46th Street in New York City after 1,577 performances. In 1983, Neil Simon's movie Brighton Beach Memoirs premieres in New York City. In 1984, today was the premiere of Andrew Lloyd Webber and Richard Stilgo's rock musical Starlight Express. In 1986, the groundbreaking for Disney MGM Studio Tour is today. In 1988, the Men's Figure Skating Championship in Budapest is won by Brian Boitano and the Ladies is won by Katarina Witt. In 1989, the first African-American soap opera, Generations, premieres on NBC TV. In 1990, the United States begins broadcasting TV Marty to Cuba to bridge the information blackout imposed by the Castro regime. In 1992, Columbia Records releases Bruce Springsteen's 9th and 10th studio albums, Human Touch and Lucky Town, on the same day. In 1994, Silvio Berlusconi rises to power in Italy and has a lot of affairs and scandals. Also in 1994, a tornado slams into a church in Piedmont, Alabama during Palm Sunday services, killing 20 and injuring 90. In 1995, at the 67th Academy Awards, Forrest Gump, Jessica Lange, and Tom Hanks win. In 1997, Martin Luther King Jr.'s son meets his father's killer, James Earl Ray. In 1998, Viagra is approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. In 2002, film director Billy Wilder died today. Also in 2002, Mr. Television, American comedian Milton Berle, died at age 93. In 2002 as well, a Palestinian suicide bomber kills 29 people enjoying their Passover meal in Netanya, Israel. In 2005, TV medical drama Grey's Anatomy debuts on ABC TV. In 2009, a suicide bomber kills at least 48 at a mosque in the Khyber Agency of Pakistan. In 2012, Danielle Steele's novel Betrayal is published. In 2019, former president of the Gambia, Yahya Jammeh, stole almost $1 billion from his country before his exile in 2017, according to a corruption report. Also in 2019, Facebook bans white nationalism and white supremacy following criticism that the Christchurch terrorist was able to live stream his attack. In 2020, North Macedonia became the 30th nation to join NATO. Also in 2020, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson 
announces he has contracted COVID-19, but will continue to lead the country thanks to the wizardry of modern technology while in self-isolation. In 2020 as well, a $2.2 trillion stimulus package, the largest in U.S. history, is signed into law by President Donald Trump. In 2021, 114 people, including children, are killed in one day by armed forces in Myanmar. And lastly, in a look forward, in 2134, scientists predict the 32nd perihelion passage of Halley's Comet on this day. Thanks for watching my episode. I hope you watch a whole bunch more and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.